Hey everybody, Frank back with a new tutorial on uh, what we're going to cover today is doing some portrait sharpening. Oftentimes when you are working with either a landscape image or an architectural image or images in general and you're looking to sharpen your image, you're really looking to sharpen the whole image. Uh, but sometimes with portraits you really don't want to do that. Um, you don't want to increase texture in the skin, you don't want to increase pores, you're just really looking to sharpen up maybe a little bit of the hair, the eyes, the lips. Uh, take this in image for instance, uh, we've got a picture of uh, my best friend's daughter Amanda and we've got a beautiful blown out background here so we really don't have any need to sharpen anything in that image. Um, we really would look like to look at uh, sharpening maybe just some of the hair, uh, the eyes, the lips, maybe the the uh, necklace and things like uh, her sweater the outline of her shirt uh, we really have no need to increase texture a, a general sharpening of this whole image you know you could really increase texture in the pores make the hair look very crisp uh, increase noise if there's any noise prevalent in the image all kinds of nasty things that we just don't need to do to a portrait uh, which may be you know less noticeable in an architectural shot or a landscape image uh, so in this case what we're going to wind up doing is Lightroom allows us to add a sharpening mask uh, what a sharpening mask does is it allows you to really pinpoint uh, fine lines and edges uh, of things you want to of things you want to sharpen so what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to wind up using the the mask tool now you'll notice that uh, down here in the uh, in the sharpening palette we're actually in the the details palette uh, sharpening uh, the amount line is is lit up and ready to use but none of the other things are available to you yet they are grayed out you have to apply a small amount in this case we're just going to slide it over a little bit and now you have access to all the other tools in the sharpening palette what we're going to wind up using in this particular case is the masking tool uh, you can slide this over uh, to anywhere you'd like and this is going to create a sharpening mask the problem is that you really can't tell what's being masked out by doing this so what you can do is on the PC hold down the alt key and the, on the Mac it's going to be the option key once you apply a small amount of sharpening you've got access to the mask go ahead and hold down the option key while grabbing the mask slider and it turns your whole screen to white now the white areas are the areas that are getting sharpening applied to them so in this particular case this is a global sharpening because the mask is off everything in the image would be getting sharpened as if I was to uh, to start sliding the sharpening slider over but what we want to do is we want to start sliding the line between the outside edges of eyelids and eyelashes and some hair uh, lips and things like that and we don't want to be applying sharpening to anything like the skin, the forehead, the nose, the bridge of the nose. But as we start to drag this out a little bit more, it's really picking up on the edges. You can see at this point it's pretty much just the hair, the nostrils, uh, the eyelids, and uh, the eyelashes, which is more what we're looking for. So I'm going to put it probably right about there. That should be okay there. Let go of the option key and again you have to be holding down and grabbing the masking slider at the same time to have that mask available to you. So now uh, according to our mask we've just got things like the eyelashes, the eye, uh, the eyelids, the hair, the outside lines of the lips here available to us. So now you can really go ahead and, and um, crank up the sharpening a little bit and you'll see just the pop right there with the eyelashes, the uh, eyebrows, and some of the hair. And that's really what we're looking for, especially in just a portrait image. Again, might be a little bit different for a landscape or an architectural image, but in this particular case, we just wanted to do that. We didn't want to affect our backgrounds. We didn't want to uh, bring out any more texture in the cheeks. And again, you can see we've got the mask set 75, so if I were to slide this down to off, you can see how much uh, more sharpening is applied to the the forehead, the bridge of the nose, and the cheeks which we're really looking to avoid. So again, 
Applying the mask, holding down the Alt or Option key will allow you to see that mask so you can see exactly where the sharpening is going to be applied. And uh, it works fantastic for portraits. Uh, maybe you've got some macro work that you've done where you really just want to, you've got a macro of, of a flower, again with a beautiful blown out background, you know, something with a with a background that looks like this and all you really wanted to do was apply it to the outside edges of some petals and not really bring out the texture in the in the leaves per se or something in the background works great for those kind of things okay hope you enjoyed this quick masking tip and I'll talk to you later bye